Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Ask Muslim. So today's question, again, very interesting. Some of the brothers and sisters have been asking about parents and their interference in a marriage. How can you control parents' involvement in your marriages? Because you have some families where parents will try to dictate everything that the husband and wife do, especially because it involves their child. So how do you maintain that, but at the same, how do you control that, but at the same time maintain a good relationship with mom and dad? The first thing, brothers and sisters, is do what Allah Azza wa Jal says to do. And that is, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا In other words, you always look at the positive life of the, the positive light of the intention of your parents. At the end of the day, parents only want good for their children. So you want to always look at their suggestions, at their uh, complaints or whatever it is that they want to say, whatever it is that they wish for you, you want to look at it in a positive light as best as you can. Don't always look at your parents interfering with your lives because at the end of the day, they are your mother and father and Allah Azza wa Jal orders you to obey them, doesn't order you to obey anybody else. So that's the first thing that you want to do when you're dealing with that kind of situation. Secondly, Know your hukuk, know your rights between you and your spouse. So in other words, know that at the end of the day, there are certain obligations that you have to fulfill with your spouse, and those always have to be there, whether you have interference from anyone in your marriage or not. Allah Azza wa Jal categorizes these rights. So these rights, they belong to your spouse, and no one else is allowed to interfere with them and say, look, don't do this for him, don't do that for her, or she's supposed to do this by herself, or he's supposed to do that by himself. No, all of these things have already be, uh, been preordained and specified in our Sharia. So make sure that you understand what your rights are in the marriage and most importantly, fulfill them. Because the Prophet ﷺ once mentioned in an authentic hadith that a Muslim lives off or a Muslim's life is based on his shurut. It's based on the conditions that he fulfills with himself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Third thing is very important. Now the third thing is, now you're in the crooks of the whole matter. You have a, a, a situation where your husband or your wife tell you, look, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. But mom and dad step into the picture and say, we don't want you to do that. What do you do? The best way to get out of this situation is you do number one, try to make your spouse happy first. And this is really important. Why do I say this? It's very simple. Because that is the responsibility that Allah Azza wa Jal gave you. There was once upon a time where you were under the care and the responsibility of your parents and that has been lifted now from you because you're married and now you're responsible for another family. And this is why the Prophet Sallallahu always tells us in so many ahadith that fathers, you are the breadwinners, you are the ra'in, you are the ones that take care of your families. You are the ones that look over and make sure that everything is looked after for them. Whereas the mother, same thing. She has certain responsibilities. She makes sure those things are done. But at the same time, when you're faced with that situation, try to communicate with your parents. Try to let them know that look you know at the same time you have your own life you still want to have a good relationship with them but the relationship that you have with mom and dad is different from the relationship that you have with husband or wife categorize these two things and inshallah if you do that hopefully i pray for all of you that inshallah all of your relationships are going to be easy for you there are many 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 other situations that sprout out of this whole issue with mom and dad and parents you know coming into a, a, a child's marriage but insha'Allah ta'ala in our future sessions we will try to discuss as many of them as we can. So once again take care of yourselves everyone. May Allah Azza wa Jal bless you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.